Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's set of nails I'll be using Nailed by Lucy's XL Square Tips. These are the nails for today's set. So this isn't a full hand video, today I'll just be doing my thumb. I'll be showing how I prep and apply the tip and then the acrylic application and filing the nail as well. So I begin with sizing up the nail tip, making sure it fits from one side wall to the other. You can see this is how the length looks of the tip and it has such a strong C curve in it. It's beautiful, it looks like it's just been sculpted. So I begin with measuring the tip with the length of my middle nail so they match up. This is the way I do it since I like the length of the thumb to be the same as the middle and the ring because they'll be the longest. So once I've cut the excess length, I've pinched the nail tip to create a deeper and a tighter C curve. So once you've pinched the nail tips, you can see that the length starts dripping down. So using the clippers, I just cut off the excess on both sides. Doing these steps now on the nail tip saves time and effort on doing it on once it's glued onto your nail because you don't have much strength, you only have that little bit of glue that's holding on the nail tip. So when you're filing you have to make sure that you're holding and putting pressure on the part where it's making contact with the free edge so it's a bit awkward doing it on yourself because you only have but two fingers to work with because the other hand has the file in it. So I learnt this trick from Lucy's Instagram, she shared a video on her IGTV so I definitely recommend heading over to her Instagram to watch it in more depth. I will link her Instagram in the description box if you want to head over and check it out. So this is how it looks after with all the steps that I've done and this is just a reminder of what it looked like before doing anything to the nail tip. So you can see a huge difference there. Using brush on nail glue, I glue on the tip and start blending and buffing the nail tip so the acrylic can adhere onto the tip correctly. Then I apply a dehydrator on my nail bed. This removes any excess oil that can cause lifting. So you can see that little patch in the centre of my nail. That's just some leftover acrylic from the last set I did. So I'm using number 10 acrylic brush from Glitter Planet UK. I'm also using a small dappin dish today because I'm only doing the one nail. So you don't need much monomer. And I begin with using clear acrylic on my nail bed. If you watch my videos you hear me tell you every time why I do this so I'll leave it out in today's video otherwise I'll just sound like a broken record. Now using pink cover, 
I apply it on my nail bed and blend it down over the tip. So I'm going to be doing a colour fade or gradient between the pink and a dark grey. So that's what you see me doing here. So throughout the video you'll see me showing you the side profile of the nail. This is just so you can see the thickness and the height of the product application throughout each step. Now I'm going to use Glitter Bell's pre-mixed acrylic baby girl crush and I create an S shaped diagonal kind of swirl from one side to the nail to the other. I did take my time in this step for the glitter so after a while I just speed it up because it can be a bit boring. It's not boring at all to do. I'm so lost in the design when I'm doing it, I don't realise how much time has passed by when until I start editing the video and then I think, oh gosh. Tom was well 
Then using Glitter Bell's Venus from the Iridescent series, I pick up a little bit and spread the glitter across over what I just created with the last step. And I take just as long, if not longer, in this step, so I speed that up a little bit more at the end as well. So when you're encapsulating the nail, your main goal is to fully cover the glitter. So when you're filing, you don't file away at the glitter. And the second goal is to create the nail structure to make sure that there's enough product in the correct places.
So after filing, I buff the nail to smooth out the surface and to remove all the scratches that can be caused with the filing. I wipe the nail to remove off all the dust.
Then using Mrs No Wipe Gel Top Coat, I apply a top coat and cure it in the LED lamp for one minute. And that's the full set complete. I love the pink and grey colours together. I've been wanting to do this colour combination for a while now but just never got round to doing it. And oh, if you haven't watched last week's video I created this red and gold set. So if you want to watch that you can click on the pop up card. So let me know what you think of the design and if you would do anything different. Also, you can let me know if you have any other colour combination ideas. I'd love to hear them and try them out as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye!